Welcome to my Duda tutorial. Here I'm going to be using the Duda website builder to show you how to get up and running fairly quickly with your website. If you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description and get a free trial for Duda as I have done in this just to show you how to get up and running from square one. So feel free to follow along that way. In the beginning, what we want to do is create a site. So right here, I'm going to click on this button. It might be slightly differently where you are if you just created an account, but initially you just want to look for creating a new site. Pretty easy to find. All right, and so we have some of the Duda templates, which in my opinion are pretty good overall. You have a good amount of categories on the left side. For example, there's not a lot of landing page templates, but in my opinion, some of these are great. They're clean, they're simple, and something like this is fantastic, especially for the fact that say you have your headline here, there's gonna be a button, that's going to be the main focus of a landing page where you have that one main goal. Maybe you want someone to click that button in order to send you an email, to contact you, to schedule a booking session, to maybe request a quote, whatever it's going to be. That's why landing pages can be powerful. You focus on that one main goal and everything else on that page is there to help increase the chances that someone's going to do that. That's just an example. For this specific example, I'm going to go more so a business website. And once again, a lot of these look great. Just because something says a roofing company here doesn't mean that you can't use that for, say, being a personal trainer. Maybe you like the look. Maybe you like the layout. It would be more about changing the pictures, the images, the logos, and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, what I'm going to do is go with something a little bit simpler. Obviously, as it says here, this is going to be for an agency, but you can just change things around to have it accommodate what you're going to be creating a website for. I'm going to click on preview here. And I like how it showcases all the different versions of what it's going to look like at once if you want to do it that way, right? You can go here and check that out. You can go on mobile and check it out. Or you could just go like to the main website right here and just kind of go through, see what it looks like. You can go to back to templates. But given the fact I do want to use that one, what we can do is hover over it and click on start building. All right, so I'm going to give it a name here. I'm just going to call it Marketing Island, the same name as my YouTube channel. Obviously, enter in your site name and click on Start Building. All right, so here we are in the Duda website builder. Ideally, what you get to do here is drag and drop some of the things that you would like to use on the left side. And anything here that you would like to edit, you're simply going to be clicking on. So I like starting from the top and moving down. So we have the header here. First and foremost is going to be this right here. We have the creative agency where if you click on that twice, you can see this is where we can replace this. Like your name probably isn't creative agency. So we do want to change that. I'm going to go with replace image. And it's going to say this widget is connected to your content library. So we're going to need to edit it this way. Because if you go down right here, you're going to notice that you can't replace it. So if you do want to change your logo, you're going to want to go here to do this. Okay, and what we can do is simply click on replace. Here I'm just going to go to upload images. I'm going to simply upload mine and then there it's going to be. It's going to be selected. Let's click on done. And of course we can click done again. Just like that, we now have our logo there. Pretty cool, right? So it's starting to take better shape. We have a logo there. Uh, we can continue on from there. So let's create something outstanding together. I'm just going to say that this is going to be like social media related. So the main goal of this specifically is going to be for someone to reach out and say, talk about maybe, you know, hiring to get better with their social media, to improve their views, get more leads, get more sales. So let's change around this headline here. All right, so fairly straightforward. It's put 10x your social media and we can click right here and pretty much this can just be a call to action. All right, so click the button below to contact us about working together. We can click on our work and we can change this. So we can do manage button. All right, so the text there, we're gonna change around. I'm just kinda gonna walk you through on the side here. We can also drag this over a little bit closer to the middle and it's gonna show existing site page. Now, we don't have to do that. We can do something completely different. So we can just do web address or we can just go straight to an email address, which I'm gonna do here. So let's just say like biz at marketingisle.com. Looks good, something like that. Contact us, okay? So that's going to be changed like that. We can close that out. And just like that, we have changed that. You're also going to notice that we have a design here. So this is just going to be pretty much a aspect where we can add anything in there. So if we go to widgets, what we can do, say we want to add an image, we can drag and drop right in there. Okay, now there's going to be all images. There's also going to be some free ones too. Or if you just want to upload something else, you could do maybe a picture of you. But as an example, I'm going to go with social media to keep it related. And I think something like any of these are going to look great. So maybe something like this. Let's click on select. Okay, that's going to be alt text if you want to use it. You know, it's up to you. Um, captions, anything. I think this looks fine the way it is. We can close out of that. 
And that's going to be the example of just like showcasing some of the social networks that maybe, you know, you could use to help grow. Now, given the fact we made some changes to it, there are going to be saves that are, you know, changes that are already saved. What you can do is also just publish it too, which I already did and just kind of went through so you didn't have to see that. So those are going to be the two main things there. In case you do want to publish it, it's going to give you the link once it's done. But let's keep moving on now. So we have sections here. Here's what we can do for you. So like say increase traffic. I'm also going to do increase leads and sales. And of course, aside from that, obviously you can click here and add more to that. I'm not going to go through with all of the details, right? You know, that should be pretty simple. Click here, change around the text, add more. Okay. This is just going to be like a food festival thing. This is a section where we can add more to here if needed. For example, let's say we wanted to add a widget here and we wanted to add another image. You're going to notice we can just drag and drop it right there. So once again, let's say we want to do some free images. We can do social media. Let's go with something like this looks great and this could be like something like you know TikTok, and maybe you could talk about here how you expanded someone's um say TikTok by you know 10,000 views or not views but followers whatever it's going to be this is going to be another section where if you feel like you don't need it all you have to do is click on it right here and you're going to notice delete if you did something you didn't want to there's always going to be the undo button so if we scroll back down here, you're going to notice there it is again. So we can just go back here and click on delete. So you're going to notice that how it says unsave changes, it's pretty much just going to auto save. Don't worry about it though. You can always do the undo in case you make a mistake. Same thing with this. I feel it's just a few things repeated. What we believe, I mean, something like this is fine. So not a whole lot going on here. And I think that's a good thing. So we believe in listening. Like this could just be something that all right, so maybe we are all about just getting you results. You know, just throwing that in there, right? Could be like a mission statement. So once again, this could be the contact us. This can go to a specific page or what you can do once again, if we wanted to change that, we could just do email address. You know, if you wanted to go anywhere else, you can do that there. And I'm just gonna do, there we go, it's already in there. And that's gonna be an example of just the main page. What we can do now is actually preview it. So let's do that right here. All right, great, so we have our logo up top, we have our home page. This, if you hover over it, you're gonna notice how it says mail to, so that would be sending a mail. We have that image there. Uh, this is gonna be what we can do for you. This is maybe an example of someone who grew their TikTok. We're all about getting results. And you'll notice once again, not a whole lot going on here, and that's sometimes a really good thing. You can certainly add more, like if you have testimonials, if you have companies you've gotten to work with, if this is a business website, of course. But this is, once again, just focus more on choosing one main goal that you want. If you want someone to reach out to you, if you want them to get a quote, if you want them to make a purchase, if you want them to use a coupon code, usually everything is directed towards that one single goal. That's if you want that goal in the first place. And you're gonna notice if you look at the top here, there's also work about and contact us. So what we can do here is go to pages. We can click on work right here. And this is also gonna be some project section here. And this is simply going to be projects that you have gotten to say help people with. So if we click right here on this section, we can do manage photos. And once again, this is more about just like replacing the images. So if you click on the image there, I'm just gonna use some, you know, simple, let's see, free images. You can obviously upload your own, but I'm just gonna go with social media to make it easier. Let's use that one. And just like that, that one has been added. I'm gonna do it say once more, we can go here, we can do replace free images, social media, and let's go with this one. Perfect, you're also gonna notice that under it is gonna have the description. So if we go to this one, we can talk about, here's how we got person X amazing results, something like that, right? So that could just be showcasing what you've done there. And if there's any that you don't wanna use, you can always just go here, click on the X button, maybe Maybe you don't have that many testimonials or like maybe you're a new business, you haven't gotten up and running as quickly yet, that's fine. Doesn't mean you need to have all of them. I'm just gonna keep them there, just kind of showcase what it looks like. So we can click there. Of course, we're gonna have many less. And what we can do is also preview it. So yeah, it's pretty cool where if you hover over, it says, here's what we got person X amazing results. This one just still has that same one there, but pretty cool if you ask me, these are gonna be the filler ones. We, we deleted some of them, but obviously if you need to delete more, you can do that. Let's go back once again to editor and we can go to pages. We also have the about. 
Okay, so who we are, we started by building fantastic websites. You know, we started by doing social media over a decade ago. Simply clicking here and just editing it is how you can do that. If you did want to change any of this round, you can click on it, you can unbold it, you can italicize it, you can underline it, you can change the color. That's going to be pretty much business as usual, right? Pretty simple. Don't have to go over too much of that. I'm not going to go and actually change it around because this is just going to be based upon what you need to put, right? Everything is about you. So we believe, once again, say we're all about results. Maybe you have a mission statement. Here you can obviously change this as well. You can manage photos here. Maybe it's just you in your company or on your website. You can go here and obviously add this in. So we have our image. We can replace. Let's go with free image. Let's just do... I'm going to go with this one since it's a person, right? This will work. You can add that in there. Okay. Jill, Tyler, Taylor, whatever it's going to be, right? We can keep that there. That's fine. So can be that person. Okay. Just a sampling of our clients. Once again, if you haven't had any, not a big deal. We have some awards. If you haven't had any of those as well, not a big deal. We know how to delete it, right? Click on the big section, click on delete. Once again, if you didn't want to use this, you can do that as well. Same thing with each of these sections. Just kind of leaning it out a little edit any of that, you'd be you know pretty easy to do, right? So last but not least is going to be contact us. So we have pages here. We can go to contact. All right, so let's connect if you want to hear more. Once again, we can do the same thing we've done here where we can do manage button. We can go to the email right here, add it in, and then do it that way. Or maybe you just want to go to a web address, an existing site on the page. That's going to be up to you. Clicking here, you can edit this for your um, phone number. Once again, you know, biz, boz, <laughs> biz at... It's the, uh, it's the microphone in the way, as I spell that wrong too, okay? So you can change this around. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. This looks like it's pretty basic. I don't know if you need to leave a message if you already have the contact there, but if you did want to change this around, what you can do is manage button and do contact us or email us, right? Probably a little redundant to have that and the other one down there, but let's delete that and we can delete that. Perfect. Pretty straightforward. Now it has been saved, it has been published. Nevertheless, let's go back to the pages. We have our home one right here. And let's do preview. All right, so we are in the preview mode. We've seen that before. We can go to work. All right, work, we did that where we hover over it and it talks about maybe the case study or whatever it is going to be there. We have about pretty straightforward who we are, what we believe in, you know, maybe one or two people on the website, maybe you have some workers, whatever it's going to be. And we have contact us and pretty straightforward. I don't know about you, but I love these contact pages where it's like, here's everything you need. If you don't use your phone, you obviously don't need it. If you have a business that's say maybe virtual, you probably don't need to have your address there. But if you are say like a physical business, you might want to add that, but it's pretty straightforward. If someone wants to contact you, it's either email us right here to go straight to like sending us an email where you can just go right here, add that into your Gmail, your Yahoo, your AOL, whatever, and send us an email. I love contact us pages like this. It's not a wall. It's not an essay of just a ton of things. It's exactly what they are looking for. Because once again, if you have a website and one of your main goals is someone reaching out and contacting you or inquiring about your services, make it as easy as possible for them to do that. And as you've seen, most of these pages definitely do that. All right, and last but not least, I did just want to showcase a couple of things here that with the SEO and settings right here, if you did want to change your favicon, in case you're not sure what a favicon is, it is this little itty bitty icon right here, okay? So that's where that's going to be. Uh, there's just going to be an image for sharing on social networks if you want to use that, mobile device, home screen icon if you want to use that. And something else you're probably going to want to look for here is under the SEO section. So you have page level SEO where you can set each page's meta tags, index settings, and more. You would go with manage pages right there. So there are a few other site level SEO things that I'm just going to keep here in case say you want to like connect to the search console. If you didn't want to index your site, you would turn that on, which I don't recommend. You know, it's always good for Google to find you. Stuff like this is very good, like lazy loading of images. What this does, for example, say if you go to your page and you have a lot of images under the fold where you don't see them, this helps your increase the speed of your website. So when someone arrives on your page, every single image doesn't load all at once, which can take a lot longer. So I would recommend keeping that on. We have our site meta title, meta description, keywords, and so on and so forth. That's probably some of the bigger features here that you might want to look into. A lot of other things will either be self-explanatory or very niche specific if you wanted to use them. But as you're going to see, a lot of the other tools and options are going to be on the left side. But nevertheless, I think that's going to conclude this Duda website builder tutorial, helping you get up and running by choosing a template, 
and changing around your website by replacing your logo, editing your text, and make sure you have a nice goal and you know what that goal is so that when anyone arrives on your website, they know exactly what to do, whether it be contacting you, getting their email, getting them on a phone call, requesting a quote, or maybe making a purchase. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to test out Duda, I will leave my link in the description where you can try them out with their free trial. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.